Hey there, Naima B. Robert here, author, editor, and coach to women like you who have an idea and want to take that idea all the way to a published book. The strategy I'd like to share with you today is about your dream. And I know that for some of us, it's difficult to dream in these times because we feel like this is not a time for dreaming. This is a time to, to survive. We're in survival mode right now. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's a choice. Unless, unless you yourself are on the front line or you have a family member or you yourself are ill or directly affected by the coronavirus, then I invite you to see the opportunity in your situation for you to be able to focus on building something for your future. If the only thing that you have to deal with right now is the inconvenience of staying at home, having children at home, and not being able to go out as freely and travel, etc., then I just want to bring you back, okay? Bring you back to, 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 to purpose. You have an opportunity. You've been given the gift of time that you may never be given again. I'm going to say that again. You've been given a gift right now that you may never be given again. And so right now is not the time to survive. It's not the time to be in fear or contraction. Now is the time for those of us who have a message on our heart, for those of us who have a calling, for those of us who know we have a responsibility to share our story. It is time for us to plug back into our dream, to recommit and reframe our situations and focus on building something for the future. So the strategy I'm gonna share with you today is to refocus on your dream, on what this book means. What could be possible once your book is out in the world? Is it, what is it about putting the book out that juices you, that makes you excited, that makes you, kind of amps you up and gets you, you know, gets you, gets you excited about the book again. Is it touching people? Is it getting to speak to more people, getting to share your story with more people? Is it helping others transform? Is it opening doors of opportunity for you? And the thing is, I know that it's hard for some of us to even conceive of doors of opportunity opening because we think, well, you know, I was hoping that when I wrote my book, you know, I would get hopefully, you know, maybe more clients, you know, um, maybe be invited to speak and get a chance to, to travel, etc. And we're just looking at the situation now and we're like, oh, well, that's not going to happen. Believe me when I say this too shall pass. And so wouldn't you rather come out of this crisis with your book in your hand, ready for those opportunities, ready for those clients, ready for the audiences, ready for the readers, than to spend the whole time in fear and contraction, achieving nothing, and come out of the crisis empty-handed, with nothing to offer anyone, least of all yourself. So plug back into what does the success mean? What does success look like to you? What is it you wanted to achieve with this book? What will, it, what will it feel like? Who will you be able to help? Who will you be able, whose lives will you be able to transform, to touch, to, who will you be able to move, to educate, to lead? Recommit to those people, whether they are your readers, your audience, clients, audiences, whatever. Recommit to them. Because trust me, there are people out there who are waiting for you to stand up. The world is not simply not served by you playing small, even now. The world is looking for leaders even now, even more so now. So if you know that you want to be one of those people that leads, that, that, that is a voice, that amplifies, then recommit to that. And if you want my help, and you'd like to work with me to get you from idea all the way to ready to publish manuscript, you know, get your manuscript done in these 90 days, then comment I'm committed below, send me an email with I'm committed, and let's have a chat to see if we're a fit. I know that I am going to help 
a group of women change makers that are going to harness the power that they have taken for themselves in this crisis. And those women are going to take that power and they're going to use it as a force for good. And those women, they're coming out of this lockdown with their book in their hand. They are already making amazing progress. They're on fire. And the reason that they're on fire and they're excited and they're committed and they are making progress is because they are in an environment where we believe in them. We believe it's possible. We know what we're doing. We know how to help them. We know how to help them get unstuck. We know how to help them get them back on purpose. We know how to do this. I myself have written over 25 books, so I know this. And that certainty and that confidence is rubbing off on these women. And they're on fire. So I can't wait to share their stories with you. I will be sharing client stories over the coming weeks, but I can't wait to share their stories with you. But more importantly, I want to be able to share your story. So comment below or get in touch with me, however you, wherever you see this, send me a DM, send me a PM, send me an email, do whatever you need to do. If you know that you want to be one of those women who works with me to make your dream of writing a book come true, because the time is now. I hope to see you on the other side. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay committed to your dream. Next time, toodles.